all right welcome back to another video tutorial from dynamite pc today we will be replacing the factory cpu cooler fan with an antec 80 millimeter three blue led cooling fan could be a little tricky the easy part is unplugging it from the motherboard and you pull there's a tab right here that you're just gonna pull out twist it around and your fan is loose and there's a metal bracket on top and a metal bracket also on the bottom you're just gonna release those lift up on the top to get that out Drop the cooling block a little bit to release the bottom one. Now this is the most complex part of actually getting the fan off the cooling block itself. It has these securing tabs, just four of them, two on each side, plus this panel on the top and this panel on the bottom also serve as a securing bracket now the easiest way I found to get the fan off the cooling block itself is to pull on the securing tab while also sticking a very small flathead screwdriver underneath at this point you know you don't really want to destroy the fan but if you're gonna discard the fan anyway it shouldn't matter and then you pull up on this part this this black part right here serves as a securing bracket and then you're gonna do the same on the other side it's kinda hard to do it with two hands but that's what we gotta do not everybody has somebody else to help them with projects. All right, so now we're just gonna take the fan off. Wow, this thing is dirty. exactly what it's going to look like. You have your cooling block just to get a better idea of the securing brackets for the case. <coughs> Excuse me. Is this is a top metal bracket, the bottom metal bracket that moves back and forth. This is the tab that I had to pull out and around at the beginning. And is the fan now this is the fan that we're going to replace it with it is an Antec 80 millimeter with the lighting it's kind of hard to see the name but trust me it's there it's not good to move the fan with your fingers if it happens here and there accidentally it's okay it's not going to kill your fan and uh, putting the fan into the cooling block holder is a lot simpler. I'm going to just place it on top for now and what you're going to want is with the top bracket facing forward you're going to want the wires coming out on the bottom left and we're just going to push, push down. Clicks into place Everything is good. <coughs> oh, look how dirty that thing is. It's pretty bad. I'm sorry, I'm coming off of a cold. Everybody in the house is sick. With this fan, it has an on off switch. No, I'm sorry, that's a speed switch. And 
and then you have these two wires this white wire is going to connect directly to your motherboard just like the factory fan that we took out the only difference with this one is that you also have a peripheral connection All right. this is what a peripheral connector looks like off your PSU and it's going to be connected to that this is what makes the speed control possible so what we're going to do is we're going to put this in exactly the way we took it out what I like to do is line it up first and before I do the top bracket I like to make sure that the bottom bracket is secured takes a little bit they don't really give you much space to work with and while you're trying to secure the bottom bracket you're gonna kinda pull up on the top to get it to slide right over the bracket that you're trying to secure to and when you feel that that is connected pull on a little bit and make sure that it is connected that's when you're gonna throw the top bracket into place and then you're gonna take that switch that swings back and forth you're gonna swing that to the left do it easily and then your fan is nice and secure it's not moving Now, you're going to connect the fan to the motherboard. Move these wires out of the way. And it's going to be this little, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see with the light, but it's this little white block. Right there. This Antec CPU cooler fan was purchased at uh, Best Buy for about 10 bucks. I personally have one in my own computer. That slides right onto the motherboard. Don't have to put much pressure on it. Then you take the peripheral connector and you are going to connected to your PSU peripheral connector that goes right on depending on what kind of PSU you have there could be some could have these little loop looking things which actually are meant to help you take it off you push on those and it slides right off and that's that at some point I'm gonna go back through and organize all these wires including the PSU wires but for now I just wanna get on video to show some people who just didn't really have the knowledge to take apart their CPU cooling fan and so now what we're gonna do is we're going to give it some power plug everything back in keep in mind as well that when you're doing all this don't have any current going through your PSU at all unplug everything alright that's plugged in going to turn it on no we're not I forgot to turn on the PSU box itself don't forget that silly now we're going to turn it on
and there it is. LEDs are working. Lights off. There we go. And now with this, it's a it's a fairly quiet fan with the uh, speed control right now. It's in the middle. It's on low. Middle. High. Even on high, it's it's very quiet. All right. Thank you for watching.